All right, uh, second part on how to uh, build that basketball court. As you can see, it's putting uh, the bolts right through there as we did. By the way, hold on, I gotta show, I gotta show something here. That there's holes in between here to get this through. I gotta put holes on the four by four, and it's coming out on the other side. Right there. Those are holes. The screw will come out on that side. As you guys can see, we put. Um, holes right through and bolts. We use these with some nuts and washers and some washers. This is um, uh, you know, threaded. Use a hammer on that, man. Oh, it doesn't fit. Okay, so this is gonna allow the basketball cord to stick out. So when we dunk, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, uh, so it's not dangerous. It's kind of like sticking out, like kind of the, you know how the NBA courts are sticking out and there's nothing underneath them so people can run underneath the basketball court and not get hurt. Well, this is, this gives us about two feet of that. It doesn't give us as much, but it's just a homemade, it's kind of an idea how to make your own, uh, basketball court. You know, this is, you can see there's the backboard right there. In the front of that is the rim, and this is going to be the stand. Um, that's how we did that one. If you want to uh, learn more about it, you can email me or um, subscribe. I also do a lot of basketball dunks. That's why I'm fixing it, because I broke it. We, me and my brother have broke this court, and um, uh, we want to make it strong and sturdy. So we got to... Um, you know, uh, make it good so we can keep dunking and keep showing our videos to everybody so everybody can watch. Alright, well, we'll post another video about it later on when it comes out, when it's all finished. So if you guys want to check it out later, that'll be cool. Um, what are we going to do now, Robert? We got to make the holes on this one so we can get so, it through. So pull it up over there. We gotta make holes over here now with the drill. So put it even right there. I'm gonna put a hole right here. I'm gonna put a hole right there. I'm gonna mark my spots right about there and right about there. Okay? So here we go. Is that, is that right there we flash? Okay, we gotta make first flash there. Go. go. Um, yeah, right there. Go for it. Quick. Take that off. Okay, we gotta mark the holes for Emmer. So, here we mark our holes. So, we, this is gonna come out on the other side. So, alright. So, what do you know? Stop that letting living. Um, you did it wrong. You, you fucking went up instead of straight. Alright, I went up. You just, we can always make it the drill bit a little bit, you know, give it more play with the drill bit if you if it's not accurate. It doesn't have to be exact. You might, if you do a drill bit, you move your drill bit. When you drill in the holes around, it makes the hole a little bit bigger so you have more play in case you missed it by a eighth or so. Um, 
you know, these two by fours, we used seven and a half inch long bolts, which are those he's using right there. Um, seven and a half, two by four, right here. So you need one two by four. Uh, you probably need about a ten footer. Depends how long. Four by four by four, which is right here. Uh, it's actually like three and three quarters, but they're called four by fours or three and a half. I don't know exactly, but they're known as four by fours. I don't know why exactly yet, but um, they're actually not four feet by four feet. Um, uh, they are. See, three and uh, what is that? About three and a half, something like that. Okay. So, three and a half, three, five eighths. I can't see right through this camera, but um, there's we're gonna get this part together, and then we're gonna flip it over, touch the rim, and we might even put some adjustments here across just to um, kind of make the uh, frame sturdier. Put a two by four across. I don't know. We're gonna see how that's gonna work out, but. We're gonna see if this even is a good, good basketball court or not. You'll be watching our videos if it's still up. That means our our um, court was good. You know, it's homemade. I can buy a new one, really, 150 bucks. You know, but hey, I like creating. I like putting stuff like this on YouTube. I like building my own stuff. People don't have, can't afford it. You know, I didn't spend that much money. I spent 20 bucks on the rim. I got it at the grass shell, the basketball rim, right? Where's it at? You know, where's the rim? Oh, there it is back there. So, 20 bucks. I paid five bucks for the two by four. You can get them cheaper for two dollars fifty cents, three dollars. A plywood. I had to buy a whole one, but if you can, uh, you know, 22 bucks, 25 bucks for the plywood. Two by four was, let's say, three bucks. So, in the four by four, that's a little bit more. About, I think those are like 10 bucks, 12 bucks. So, and then the balls and nuts and really in the rim. So, really, that's all you really need. I mean, if you got it up, 60, 100 bucks, and you, you know, maybe less than 100 bucks, you can have one uh, running, really. Um, for those who like making stuff themselves, this is a great idea. Check you guys out later. This is Fernando and Robert. See ya. That's what we do next, right there. Now that we have the basketball court, um, oh, now that we bolt all the um, bolts to the two by four, you can see down there. Um, he's tying the bolts to the rim, which are over here. That you're putting bolts through, through all the way through side to side. No, no screws, just bolts and nuts. Screws, wasted your time. See that? That's going from side to side. There it is, right there. So, nothing better you can do than that. That's the best thing you can do for it. I mean, I was thinking, like, if we put springs, if we put springs right there. Oh, yeah? Been the other way around. No, this is gonna work fine. It's just, uh, how come you got the other one on? Porque le metí diferente tuerca, no ves? Oh, it's a different pull. Oh. All right, here's the basketball court now. Now it looks like we got some space to dunk. So, now, Robert, what are you gonna say? We gotta do what? Okay, you're gonna put, give me that two by four right there. Bend down. Any, any two by four. This one we're gonna cut it in half, and we're gonna put one piece right here, like about this much, right here. Cut it, put it right here, and then same thing on this side. And then you're gonna put one across like this. Bam! A screw to here and a screw to here, on both sides. With that, we won't have any flex. So with this one, every time you're done, it doesn't get fucking fucked up over here. So you're gonna do this. It doesn't get messed up, yeah. So it All right, I see. Down on both sides, and that's it. We're done, and then we can hang it. Yeah. Now, now we got another problem. That when you hang it over there and you screw it to the plywood, it's gonna be too heavy. So 
You might, we might break up. We're gonna end up breaking the fucking uh, the plywood now, because this is way too heavy for that. No, that's alright. The point here is that this is how you build a homemade that's basketball court to stick out. Uh, if anybody has, wants, has any uh, this is the back wants to know how we did it, we actually used a 2x4 uh, to use these two right here. They're two feet each, about two foot each. It's actually one and seven eighths to be exact because. Uh, one and seven eighths? Matt Reed, okay? So, yeah, it's one foot seven, I mean, uh, one foot, almost two feet. Let's keep it that simple. And um, and then you got your backboard, and you see we went through, see we went right through with bolts all the way from here to this side, all the way to that side right there. See? And then we did this one over here, same thing. We put a 4x4 four four in the middle. There it is right there. To support that too. And then that we drill we drill that to the uh, backboard. And then we have that. Um, and the rim we put two on it for now. The same thing with the rim here. We need, we need to put two more. We drill four holes. Though. We got yeah, we got two more holes to do here. Still, I mean, we actually already I got the holes, but we don't have our bolts. These bolts need to go all the way through. You're missing it. All the way through. You see that? All the way through. Right. Safe and strong. Good uh, basketball court right here. I mean, really, about a hundred. Not even a hundred bucks. I paid actually. I paid twenty dollars for the rim and the grass shell. You can get them new if you want to. The plywood was. I gotta buy a whole sheet because they won't sell you one. It was just a piece. So that was about eighteen bucks, I think. And then a four by four. That's about twelve bucks. And um, the two by four is four to three bucks. The bolts and now to spend ten dollars. And screws, you know. So you do, you do the math. <laughs> And um, so, if you wanna, you know, you can do it slowly, take it easy. You know, me, my brother helped me, so we did it pretty fast. We took about two hours. How many think? How long, how long do you think we take? Two hours. So about two hours. We and we had everything ready. So two you, guys, two men. Two men, you know. Um, but if you can do it by yourself, it just takes longer. Now we're gonna go yeah, hang it. If you got any questions, you can email me. Or uh, subscribe to me, whatever. I do a lot of dunks too, so every day I post dunks. We're gonna actually see how this basketball kept up, if it didn't break, if it didn't fall. What was the outcome? We have some videos we posted already of us uh, breaking, so if you look us up, you can see uh, we're uh, basketball, it's on basketball, homemade basketball dunks. And we broke that court, so we, we did this one. We think this is stronger now. So we also do dunks and practice different dunks all the time. We'll get back to you. We'll be back we to you. We'll be on YouTube. Mo uh, home, homemade basketball courts, homemade basketball dunks. All right, let's go hang it so we can dunk it. See how it works. We'll get back to you when we dunk it and break it again. And we still gotta put those uh, two by four across, like my brother said, for support. So we'll be seeing you guys soon. Uh, all right, that's the basketball court right there. There we go. That's gonna hold a while. Like I said, we're building these basketball courts all the time. And uh, we did this one because uh, we were dunking and we were heading, it was too close to the, uh, you know, the um, trailer there. I mean, we could put it inside tire, put a hole there, but we decided to do it this way. Just to be different, I guess. And um, yeah, we uh, used two by four right there. Two by four, two by four, four by four plywood, the rim, and uh, we bolted everything side to side. You can tell right there, everything's bolted from side to side. The hoop is bolted. There's bolts from side to side. You can see that. All right, there we go. And over here, same thing. Bolted. Everything's bolted. And uh, that's how we made it. Bolts, bolts, bolts. Four by four. 
cut the two by fours about two feet each. You can get four of them out of one eight foot. So that's why I, I got one eight foot and I got four of these out of one eight foot. So they're all the same size. And these are four by four. And then with the board, rim, and bolts. Most important, you gotta put bolts, no screws. All right. All right. We'll be dunking on this one, doing videos, putting them on YouTube. Um, I'll try to do this every day, so different dunks every day.